prone leg raise. So leg raises are pretty simple. Lying on our backs, trying to get our core to start to learn how to stabilize our hips and move our legs around. Now, the biggest issue with most people is when they're doing this, they're not keeping the full length in through their spine. So therefore, their lower back starts to get sore, they start to pinch things in the lower back, the psoas, the sacrum and all that kind of fun stuff. So what we want to try to do is we actually want to approach this from a lowering perspective. So how far you go and how far you come back up is all about how much you can keep your lower back grounded into the floor and keep your lower back nice and long. So for a beginner, you can have your hands anywhere you want. As you get better, I would say reaching your arms overhead, especially if hand standing is in, in your interest. But wherever you put your arms, doesn't matter. Start with your legs up towards the ceiling. Think about that lower back grounding into the floor, draw the navel in as tightly as you possibly can and squeeze your thighs together, pointing your toes like you're a ballerina. So from here, what you want to think about is lowering your feet with control and maybe as you lower your feet with control, if your back pops up off the floor when you get to about here, that means you've gone too far. So you want to always keep that lower back long. As you get stronger, you'll be able to go farther and farther until you can get all the way down to the bottom without your lower back popping up off the floor. But say you can only get halfway, then you're gonna to go to the place where you feel like you can't go lower, otherwise your back will pop up, and then you come back up to that neutral position and just keep working that range of motion until you feel strong enough that you can go a little further and a little further each time. But again, lower back is on the floor, it's flat and the belly button's drawing in. Good.